All right, guys, uh, we're on page 27 in the math book. I'm going to go over a handful of these to try to give you some help. Number one says, complete the place value chart for the following number. So that's the first thing we're going to do. Six in the ones, three in the tenths, two in the hundredths, and four in the thousandths. So I just moved that number over to the place value chart. Second thing says write its number name. That means write it in words. So it's going to be six. The decimal is always the word and. So six and. Then we write this as if it's 324. 320. Four, and then we name it by the last decimal where it lands, thousandths. So it's six and 324 thousandths. And that's where decimal, so it's THS. So six and 324 thousandths. And then finally it says, what is the value of the underlying digit? Well, that is just 0 0.02, which is two hundredths. So that's the third part of it. So that was number one. All right, number two, they ask us to write it in expanded form. So each digit, I'm going to have to have it as a value of 10. So eight times 10 to the second power, because that's 10 to the second power is the same as 100. So eight times 10 to the second power, eight is 100, plus six times 10 to the first, because 10, the six is in the tens spot, plus three times one, because the th three is in the ones. You can also write that as 10 to the zero. Plus, now when we get the decimal, we're gonna be multiplying by a fraction. So times, plus one times one tenth, because the one is in the tenths, so it goes to one tenth. Now the four is in the hundredths, so we're gonna put plus four times one over a hundred. And then finally there's a one in the thousandths, so I'll do plus one times one over a thousand. So that is eight times 10 to the two, plus six times 10 to the one, plus three times one, plus one times one tenth, plus four times one hundredth, plus one times one thousandth. All right, now this one, I just want you to go back to expanded form. So eight times one is just eight. Then you have five times a hundredth, so that would be five and the hundredths. Didn't say anything about anything in the tenths, so I have to put a zero there. It says five times a hundredth, so that's five in the hundredths. Nine times a thousandth, that means nine will be in the thousandths. So that answer is just 8.059 or eight and 59 thousandths. Now the final thing I'm gonna show you on this page is these will all be the same. It just wants us to write decimals that are equivalent. Equivalent means they're gonna have the exact same value. So all I gotta do is chop off some zeros on this one. So 5.300 would be the same as 5.30, or the same as 5.3. Those are all equivalent. So for number seven, all I'd have to do is add zeros. 3.70, 3.700. So you either add or take away zeros to the end, and they're still gonna be worth the same. Hope that helped.